today we were looking at Mental Health Awareness Week, so we were looking for the girls to find tools to talk about their experiences of mental health, to put that on the paper and then to share their poetry with the others. We've been um, doing like this rapping poem. I've just endured like the poem and it's just been like nice listening to his rap. When I discovered poetry, I was probably the same age as the children in this in this workshop and it completely reformed how I saw the world. Because I came from an area where no one did poetry, no one talked about how they felt. And if you did, you were classed as weak or, or vulnerable. Whereas I see poetry as kind of a superpower, a way to feel invincible and strong. And that's what I want to teach, you know, on now to the next generation. How has he helped you with um, like your well-being at school? He's helped me through, um, like, teaching me to not be so scared of everything. Because once you've done it, it's over and done with. And if you don't like it, you don't have to do it again. If you like it, you can do it again. There was a girl at the front who said, I know what mental health is, but I don't know how to write about it, how to talk about it. And that kind of epitomises what a lot of children feel about mental health. They're aware of it, but they don't know how to translate that into something they can articulate. So what I was impressed with, by the end of the lesson, we had people who were sat with a blank page at the start, stand at the front of the stage, performing poems about their mental health, uh, about the vulnerabilities of their life experiences.